money, money. Once he gives you money, that is called transactional. It's not transactional. We say don't stop at transactional. You are more than enough. You are here to make significant impact. You are not here by divine mistake. You are here by divine selection. God put you here for a purpose. So there's something you are passionate about. I've got a group of people that are also passionate about the same thing. Connect with them. We call the mastermind mentor. What else is called? Mastermind mentor. All mastermind mentors must have experience. Tenor experience. All of them must have a system. Tenor system. All mastermind mentors should be able to teach you some millionaire skills. Some millionaire skills that will make you a multi-millionaire. All these skills are very important. Number one is called problem-solving skill. What does it called? Problem-solving skill. In every problem-solving skill, you can actually solve some problems and make money. Number two is called leadership skill. What does it called? Yes. Number three is emotional intelligence skill. Number four, uh, people management skill. These are the skills you need to go and build people. This is a skill you need to go and build your own team. This is a skill you need to go and build your own organization like MTN, Glow, ET Salad, Montu Suite. This is a skill you need to build your own community. It's in a community. This is a skill you need to go and build a business family. So everybody you see today that, of course, that is involved in this, this particular relationship. This relationship is called transformational relationship. It's a significant relationship. Or you call it transformational relationship. What do you call it? Transformational relationship. So in every transformational relationship, Everybody they can survive. They not survive. I mean, everybody can earn a fortune. Tell a fortune. You can earn a fortune. You can earn residual income. What is residual income? The, the kind of money you make because you did something once, right? And for that reason, you did that thing once. From that moment, you'll be making money from that same thing for the rest of your life. As long as you are consuming the product or services. So when I do something like this every time, I always tell her that everything happening outside of you. Outside your body, everything, the weather, the sun, the economy, the president, the, of course, the, 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 the inflation, the, the naira, whatever is happening outside of you, around you right now, is called contributing factor. What else is called? Contributing factor. They can only contribute to your success. And they can also slow you down. They can delay you. They, they, can pro they can make you move faster. But they don't determine what's happened. They don't determine your success. They don't determine whether you be a millionaire or not. What's happening inside of you? Your courage, your faith, your vitality, your giftings, your idea. What happens inside of you is called determining factor. What else is called determining factor? So you win the war inside of you, you win the war outside. And if you win the war, if you lose the war inside of you, you surely lose the war outside. And what the society wants you to focus is focusing on contributing factor. Oh, near wasting one, the government is not helping me. My father is not helping me. Nobody is supporting me. Nobody is giving me money. So they want you to look at external factors and blame. And anytime you blame things outside of you, you have lost the power of change to those things you blame. So that's why it's always good to focus on the things inside of you. And that's why you have been the most important factor here. So your neighbor has for a living. Dangote who thinks? And the guy that works in his factory. Who makes more money? Dangote. The guy that's the football coach and the footballer that is playing the ball. Who do you think make more money? The football coach make more money, far more money. Because the guy that called a punch, the boxer and, the, and his coach. If I there was a coach, one day Ambassador Elizabeth was teaching us Mike, my, 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 my Tyson coach, the boxer. Mike Tyson has retired, broke and poor, but his coach is still waxing strong, rich and wealthy. So those who think with their who think for a living will always be paid more than those who work for with their hands for a living. Let's look at something today. Let's look at because I'm going to get some foundation. You know, I always left some foundation before we move on. The greatest man who ever lived on earth is also the wisest man who ever lived. He's called King Solomon. Let's start from him. They will go to Genesis and they will go to the main ancient trade. And we will see how things work. So let's start from there. Uh, you know, if I talk about wealth, success, principles, wealth, abundance, business, entrepreneur, I always go to the book of life to draw energy and strength. Okay? And um, but the book of life is the manual of the kingdom. So uh, children of kingdoms always go there. So let's look at one scripture, one or two. Let's look at Proverbs 4, 7 to 9. It says something there. It's, wisdom is a principle what? Then they forget wisdom. And you need to list what wisdom will do for you. Now, wisdom is the root and everything else is the fruit so you want to get wisdom wisdom is the root and everything else is the fruit everything else is the fruit so and um wisdom is the cause the cause everything else is the effect wisdom is the source everything else is the supply everything else is the supply so wisdom is the root, everything else is the fruit. Wisdom is the cause. We live in the world of cause and effect. Wisdom is the cause. 
Everything else is effect. Wisdom is a source. Everything else is supply. Zai to say, King Solomon, that the wisest man, when he came to the thinking class, is a thinking class. Somebody says, intelligence is solving problem. Wisdom is preventing the problem. So once you are wise, you prevent every problem in your life. And that is why Solomon prioritized wisdom more than everything else. I'm going to give you some notes about that. Let me see how, we, how I wrote it down here. So you can see very well. Because, <coughs> so, yeah, thank you. So you want to be smart. You want to make money. You must prioritize the invisible more than the visible material things. I'm going to give you some notes. Because the thinking class, we prioritize, we prioritize thinking, thinking. That is every great man have a thinking chair or a thinking corner. We have specific place in our room, in our life, where we go there and nobody stops us. You know what we do there? We arrange our life. We start to think. We arrange our thoughts so we can manifest our thoughts. Man was made to live by design, not by accident, not by miracles. Man life was only by design. I will prove to us because Nate and skill set, he feed you for a lifetime. Write this one down. Solomon prioritized the root, comma, cause, and source of his success. Solomon prioritized the root cause of his success, the root cause and source of his success. And challenge everyone in his proverbs to prioritize wisdom. The root cause of Solomon's success is wisdom. Solomon prioritized the root, comma, cause, cause, and source of his success. And challenge everyone else in his proverbs to, to prioritize wisdom. So, of course, it's a popular story. Those are Christians that are born again with your Bible. That when he prioritized this thing, that even when God asked him, ask for something, he said, just give me this reason that I might lead people. Because it's for the people. We talk about the, the, the good idea and the God's idea. It's for people, other people. So, as a Solomon prioritized the root, comma, cause, and source of his success, source, source of his success. And challenge everyone in his proverbs to prioritize wisdom. So, to prioritize invisible. Because once you have the root, the tree will always, the fruit will always come out. Once you have the cause, you can always be defect in different things. When you have the source, supply will be a problem. Supply, unlimited supply. So, and uh, I always tell us something. Solomon, write this one. Solomon promotes wisdom, comma, understanding, and knowledge above any physical symbol of wealth. Even if you have not written anything down today, please write this thing for me on your notes. You don't have your note today? Bring your phone out. Go to your text message. As Solomon promotes wisdom. He promotes wisdom. Solomon promotes wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Above any physical symbol of wealth. Above any physical symbol of wealth. You know, we look at symbols. He has a house. He has a car. He owns an estate. He owns a yash. He owns a private jet. All these things are all symbols of wealth. Physical symbols of wealth. By Solomon prioritizes knowledge. Uh, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. So we say knowledge is information. I always tell us this. Knowledge is information. So Solomon prioritizes information. Package information. Tell us what we call knowledge. Then understanding is explanation. Understanding is explanation. Understanding is explanation. Then wisdom is application. Wisdom is application. So Solomon prioritized wisdom, knowledge, and understanding above any physical symbol of wealth. And then knowledge is information, understanding is explanation, and wisdom is application. That means if you tell me you understand something, you should be able to explain it. If you tell me you are knowledgeable, you have some level of information, package them, tell us what I said. With knowledge is information, understanding is explanation, wisdom is application. So, if you, if you know something and you cannot apply it, you don't know, you say, he that knoweth good and doeth it not, to him is a sin. That means, if, you, if what you know is not what you do, you know nothing. If what you know is not what you do, you know nothing. I mean, you know that you are supposed to save money and make money work for you. You know it. And you are not doing it. Okay, you know nothing. You don't know anything. So, you know, you are supposed to come and invest in yourself. You are supposed to grow yourself, grow your capacity. Men are not broke and poor because of Lack of uh, 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 lack of ability. What ability? What we have, what we have is to increase our capacity. Men are broken because of lack of capacity. 
they, their capacity is small. They don't want to grow it. They have a cop mindset. That's why it's difficult to talk to a, a poor person that has a cop mindset with an idea, ocean idea, or a river idea to a cop mindset. You tell it's not possible because he cannot even phantom it. He cannot think it. It does not enter his mind. He has not ever conceived it. Like I keep telling you, poor men teach their children what they know. And what do poor men know? Nothing. They know nothing. So you see, when I say you are a part of the thinking class, I want to show you that the greatest man who ever lived, the greatest man, the wildest man who ever lived, prioritized the invisible, thinking, wisdom. I say, because for you to prevent something, you must be thinking. I said, knowledge, somebody says, um, uh, intelligence is solving problem, but wisdom is preventing it. So to prevent it, that means you must have thought and provide solutions beforehand. You're yeah, part of that class. I'm going to prove to you today. So write this one now. Solomon effectively exalted thought. Solomon effectively exalted thought above things. Full stop. Solomon effectively exalted, lifted thought above things because things comes out of thought. Full stop. Solomon effectively exalted thought above things, things, material things, because things come out of thought. One of my friends said, thought are things. So everything you ever see in this life, I said, Solomon is effectively exalted thought, thought above things. Because things comes out of thought. Everything you can see today, touch, feel, was once an idea in the mind of the entrepreneur. And those, those ideas came out of thinking, constant thinking from thought. It happens in your mind. That's why you are just one idea away from your breakthrough. I'm coming to that very soon. One singular idea that you have to go and sit down and rearrange, and rearrange your thought. Thinking. There's no function from this point of idea, creativity, innovation. I told you yesterday, your highest level of function is ideas and communication. That's what God did. He created on in image and likeness. When you leave that, that, that godliness stage and go to the fallen man, Adam, cause, I'll come to that direction. That you have to labor with your hand, toy. That wasn't the plan of God for man. What led us to this stage was because of the fall of man. Now you are aware that you are not just that, 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 that you're not just the original, the original man and, and of course, and, and fell. And, and of course, God came to redeem man, you are not a redeemed man. Redeemed from inside, I will come to the other side. So you can understand that the, 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 the frame of which you are formed, you have been redeemed already. So consciousness accepting this thing restores you back to your position. Tell your neighbor I'm in charge. Church. That's what he's begging for a charge card. Tell your neighbor I'm a success. I'm success. So I'm part of the thinking class. That one is still begging for success. You can do better. Tell your neighbor I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Now you're talking to me. So and uh, I said, Solomon effectively insulted thought above things. If you written that down, shall I? Aye. Because things comes out of thought. Yes. And thought are what? Things. Okay, before I go to the, to the, the remain man, let me also divert a little bit and talk about one thing. Just a little. And uh, Hebrews 11. Okay. It says, things that are seen were made from the things that are not seen. Things that are seen today, you can touch field, are made out of things not seen. There was a guy that told the world that iron can fly on the sky. The white brothers, everybody laughed at them. They fall on the For these guys, there was no knowledge, no technology. A lot of things were not in place. But these are bicycle repairs. Not, they are not graduate. But they believed it. They saw it in their mind. They saw it in their imagination, in their imagination. We are coming to all those ones. So, and they started taking actions every day. Deliberate, intentionally. Of course, practicing what they believe. One day they launched the first aircraft. Today, it's easy that everybody have can fly on the sky, private jet. It wasn't easy sometimes. We have electric bulb today. The time it was impossible. Thomas Edison try and try and try. Most of us would have given up. That's why if you give up on your life, it doesn't make the journey faster. Giving up and quitting doesn't make the journey faster. Quitting doesn't move you faster. Winners never quit, and creatures never do what win. So the things that are seen today, therefore, the physical world came out of the spiritual world. The physical world we see came out of what? The physical world. And the, the physical world came out of the spiritual world. Full stop. The spiritual world is the cause and the physical world is the effect. I said, things that are seen, we create, we're made from things not seen. Therefore, the physical world came out of spiritual world. The physical world we see came out of spiritual world. Full stop. The spiritual world is the cause and the physical world is the effect. So if you know where they brought things out, now we are going to rearrange, rearrange your thoughts. So we may go and bring things out. We are taking it to that point. So you too can also go there and bring anything you want in your life out. 
You want peace in your life, you bring it out. You want love, you want kindness, you want money. You go there. When men go to pick the ideas, we take it to that point. Because I said, the job of a mentor and a leader is to take men from where they are to where they want to be. They don't know how to get there. They know where they want to be. But my job is to move you from where you are to where you want to be for yourself. The place of abundance. The palace of wealth. So you know, stop being at the gate. Good will take you to the gate. Greatness will take you to the palace. So you need to be in the palace. Say, no, I'm in the palace. You deserve the palace. It's your place of authority. It's a place where you take a position. A place of influence. You are the center of influence. But sometimes, because of fear and doubt, anxiety, cook up things around. Things around that will make you feel that you're not worthy. You are more than enough. You are more than worthy to deserve the palace. The palace is where you're supposed to be. I want to prove to you that there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing wrong with you is that you have been so far from information and knowledge. And the information you acquire was from the factory of school system. And it's not helping you. We'll come to that very soon. So you can actually know that you need a new level of knowledge. Every breakthrough in your life demands a new skill of your life. Be open-minded to take action. So I said, things that are not seen are made from the things not seen. Therefore, physical world came out of spiritual world. The spiritual world is a cause and the physical world is effect. The spiritual world is a cause that is cause and effect. And the physical world is effect. Everything I see, money, everything are all effect. The chair you are sitting down today is all effect. The biro that you write is an effect. Effect of somebody's mind, idea. The phone you are using, the clothes you are wearing. Everything you see around your life is all an effect. Even you as a person, you came out of something, the spiritual world. You are all an effect. Out of the creation. I told you, in Genesis 1, verse 27, God said, let us create man in our image. In Genesis 2, he came to form man. That means man was created from the, from the thinking world, from the thinking class, from the, the part of the class you belong to, before a man came to form man. So yesterday, I, I applaud us to apply the principle of 80-20% rule. So let's still write this one down. We need to prioritize the invisible cause of the physical material success. We need to prioritize the invisible cause of the physical material success. We need to prioritize the invisible cause, wisdom, thought. We need to prioritize the invisible cause of physical material success. Whatever you want in life as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, as a married man, as a married woman, you need to prioritize the invisible cause of physical material success. Then we will have an endless supply. We have an endless supply because we are in position of the source. We are in position of the, the root, the cause, and the source. I'm going to prove to you that you already have it. That you are not manifesting it is because of ignorance. You know, um, the first law of wealth is called the law of awareness. You can never desire what you are not aware of. Nigeria has already had crude oil from day one. From the creation of the world, Nigeria was had crude oil. But until men discovered crude oil, it was embedded there in natural form. Men always had gold, diamond, embedded. Already in their country, until men discover it, because you are meant to discover it, develop it, and deploy it. So the reason you don't have the money you need, you've not discovered your giftings idea already embedded in you, you've not even developed it. You've not deployed it, because if you discover it, develop it, and deploy it, you should be a billionaire. All billionaires, I'm going to prove to you when we come to that very soon. That all of them, they discover their own, develop their own, and deploy it. They are making money today. Looking at them, ah, this one has a car, this one has this one. They are saying, God, I'll give me anything. No, God gave all of us something. All of us came to this world with a part of God embedded in you in raw material, in a raw form. But you know, men, men are so busy physically pursuing material things, things like things, things that, 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 that will evaporate. And leave the real substance that will bring out their own world for them. Because they are too busy. When you are too busy physically, the brain stops working. When you are busy brain, you do little things physically. And that's how the God will operate. From operating from your brain to the hand. Not from the hand to the brain. It doesn't work. Okay, let's see how far we can go today. I said we need to prioritize the invisible cause of physical material success. Down what we have. Then we, when we will have an endless supply. We need to prioritize the invisible cause of material success then we will have an endless supply because we are already in possession of the source. Let's start from the first one. Let's start now. Let's start from Adam. She is still a part of it, the ancient trade. Let's go to see the ancient trade. How was Adam uh, designed? That's number two, the ancient trade. Let us see the trade of the, of the first man on earth. The original man. The original man. Let's see what God asked him to do. So let's see what we can learn. So from, we're not going to copy everything, actually. But let's see what we can learn. So, what are some pieces of wisdom and knowledge? Because great men read books. You see, 
I said, no poor man had written a book. No poor man. Nobody ever celebrated. So this, is, this failure is very big. They don't celebrate failure. Nobody has ever celebrated failure. Nobody. So that is why I say, what are the clues? Success leave clues. What did I say? Success leave clues. If men actually succeeded, they know the clues. So they wrote it down. So you have to read it. There's a men that are, that, that, that are busy. They are not in the place of learning. Learn, the place of learning is the most strongest, powerful place in the whole wide world. Because you can learn your way out of poverty. Learn your way into wealth. Learn your way into anything you don't like. Into anything you don't like. You can learn your way out of it. Anything you don't like. And learn your way into what you like. So let's look at the, 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 the ancient trade. And let's take, um, before we go to the ancient, before I give you one, two scripture, let's take some note down there. Adam walk was a thinking walk. I'll prove to you. Write it on your note very boldly. Adam walk, hand walk. Adam job description, work description. Adam walk was a thinking walk. Ah, 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 my sure. I'm going to prove to you from the scriptures. Adam walk was a thinking walk. Full stop. God planted the garden. Adam did not plant the garden. God planted it by himself. Adam never planted. I'm going to prove to you Adam never planted. It is God that planted it. God, I gave him a job description, a work description. To do the thinking work, I'm going to show it to you. Don't worry, very soon. So, let's see through some from ground, some things, so you understand. Adam did not sow or, I did, I did not, Adam did not sow or reap. He did not sow or reap. He did not. I'm going to prove to you. Don't worry, don't argue. Don't just come down. Adam did not sow or reap. Adam did not plant or harvest. He did not plant or harvest. I'm going to show it to you. Don't argue. Just follow me. <laughs> Adam did not sow or reap. He did not. He did not plant or harvest. He did not. Don't worry. Just follow me. Eh? Adam did not hunt or kill. He did not hunt or kill. He did not. So he never sowed. He never reap. He never plant. He never harvest. He never hunt. He never kill. I'm going to show you the scriptures. So, full stop. Adam never sowed or reap. He never plant or harvest. He never hunt or kill. Full stop. He dresses and kept it. Look at what Adam did. Adam dresses the garden. I don't, I don't like to clean. But let me just clean part of it so that uh, we can write. Don't worry. I like to always write on top. What Adam did was to dress. He dresses, he dressed it, and uh, kept it. That's the first thing he did. Adam dressed and kept. He just dressed and kept. He categorized them and labeled them. He categorized them. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. He categorized everything and labeled them. He labeled all of them. He labeled it. He labeled it. I'm going to show you his work this week very soon. Adam dresses and kept. He categorized and labeled. That was his job. That was his work. He gave names. He also gave names. That was his work. He also gave friends to things, whatever he called, so it is. He gave assignments. Your job is to give assignments. That's all he that. He gave rules. He also, to every creatures, to every living creatures, to every living creatures. That was his job. His work, the first job was to dress, keep, categorize, label, name, frame, assignment, role to every creature. Everything that he created, he got created. He was his work. How am I sure? Let's read some scriptures. Let's just do one. Because of my time. Genesis 2. Genesis, I'm not a pastor. Your church is enough. Tell me, my church is enough. I'm reading so many scriptures. This one, I don't like it so much, right? It makes me look like I'm a pastor. I'm not one. Tell me, my church is enough. No, that one is making for the church. Can touch yourself. Say, my church is enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. They think that I have to tell you some things about yourself because you need to know when I'm talking about you, you are the most powerful. Author. And I want to know that they, they, they know limitation. And if I talk these things, I don't make some scriptures back there. It does. So let me show you that you are not a poor man, that you are a very wealthy person, that you are looking at me, that you are a very, very wealthy person. You are a billionaire in dollars. But why are you acting less? Why is it Why are you complaining? Because you don't you see yourself like grasshopper. You see what happened to when Moses sent them to spy the land? They came back with bad report. Only Caleb and just uh, Joshua and Caleb came out with good report. They, they say we are like grasshopper. Why would you ever say that in your mouth? You see yourself like somebody that is not worthy. Because you wake up every day, you look at your circumstances and you define yourself based on your circumstances. You don't define yourself based on your identity. You are meant to define yourself based on your identity, not circumstances, because you are more than enough. They know more than enough. Start defining yourself based on who you are. I give you 90 days. With the right perspective, if what you think and say is what you do, okay, I give you 90 days. Boom. Miracles happen in your life in the way you can never imagine. Now, the world wants to distract you. It's the work of the enemy. I'm coming to that very soon. Eh? They want to distract you from losing. 
size from the most important factor in your life to the thing that doesn't matter in your life, that doesn't contribute, that doesn't determine your success. You want to focus on the contributing factor, you know that determining factor. So I'm pushing you back to focus on the determining factor. What will determine your greatness? So let's look at these scriptures and um, Genesis 2, 19 to 20. So it's, I'll just read part of it. So as he said, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and the best of the heaven and brought them unto man and brought them unto man to see what he will call them. Man to see what he will call them. God gave man work to call. He just thinks, say, you, you act like an elephant. You, you come elephant. You, come, come, come. How they behave like this? You, from today, you're acting like lion. That was man's job. Man's job was to think and call. Think and call. Think. How they think? Think, think. You see, okay? His job was to name all the ants. Every animal's trees was man's work. I remember that the tree was the one bringing his fruit to Adam. Let's look at the scripture. I think no one should read from me. King James, NIV, any of them. Genesis 2, 19 to 20. Let's see. Let's know I'm talking to him. Who is there? Look at, bring your phone. Google it. Let's see. Bible. Let us somebody should read from me, from the crowd, from the audience. Let's see. Uh, from the, from all of us. Anybody here can read for me? <coughs> okay, anybody? Yeah, here for me. Let me see the man. The man's first one. Genesis 2, verse um, 19. Out of the, the ground, the, the Lord God do what? Okay. Yes. God, God, who, who brought it to man? Read them now. Who brought who brought it to man? And what do you ask him to do? See what you ask him to do. To see what he will do what? Call them. What about Adam called? What happened? That was the name thereof. <laughs> Okay, continue. Finish up, finish up. To change it. We go to change it. Let's see. Finish up. Okay, continue. He gave names to all cattle. I I want again. Don't go too far. Let's stop there. I told you something I wanted to know very well. So if you don't know your work, you go do person work, when will be your work. And that you're not getting rewarded. We are supposed to be rewarded. Because you can't be doing work you are not being paid for. You cannot be doing work you are not going to be paid for. This work, this is not your job description. This is not your work. You are not going to be paid for doing this thing, though. this manual labor. This work you are doing with you, you are not going to be paid, though. Because that's, that's what the plan I'm going to pay you. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's say, I always, I don't like cleaning. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I don't like cleaning. I like to always write, I'll go and buy a smaller marker board and, and get papers so that we put enough papers. So that when I'm writing, I'm making reference to my. To my to my talk okay i said something always god created three things we do this almost every time the first thing god created was they created the what the creation when god created the creation he said let there be light that was the, that was the language he used let there be what light let there be what firmament let there be this let there be that now the second thing god created was god created the creatures they're not creatures when he created the creatures god delegated the creation of the creatures to the creation how did he create them God he said let the earth bring forth his kind. That's what I said. Let the earth, let the earth bring forth his kind. Let the water bring forth his kind. Now the third thing God created, He created the creator. Then not the creator. So God created the creation, creatures, and creator. When He came to creator, He said, "Let us create man in our e image. Let us create man in our image and what likeness." I said, "The day you create." Is it from the day you produce? How am I sure? In Genesis 1 27, God created man. In Genesis 2, verse 7, God formed man out of the dust of the earth. So for you to be a creator, a creative being, because your job, your purpose on earth, your purpose on earth is to create, and not create. Your purpose on earth is to connect, and not connect, and contribute, and not contribute. So you to create, you must creating happens in the mind, and not mind. And mind simply means mental arrangement of thought. What I say, mental arrangement of you produce physically. Physical means physical mental thought. So for man, his job was to dress and kept, categorize, label, name, frame, assignment, rules to every living creature. So you look at the animals, you look at it to think, how do I want this animal to behave? How is it behaving? He think and think and think and say, You from today, you are a dog. He thinks from today, you are a horse. You think, oh, you want not to think. And if you read down, I don't want to go to, I'm not a pastor, I will come to that very soon, maybe some other day. 
the, the, the best of the end, they were bringing food. They, everything was supplying food for this guy. He was almost to wake up in the morning, dress, a name, walk around. Food, food was not his problem. You eat everything. Okay, let me continue a little bit. I think I have some, something I wrote for you. A hand. So let's see how far we can go. If you learn something right now, shall I? Okay. Okay, God said to Adam, God say, God is saying, Adam, think now. Write it the way I want to write it. Write the way I want to write it. God is saying to Adam, think now. God is saying to Adam, think now. I want you to come up with names. God is saying to Adam, think now, think. I want you to come up with names. Comma, rules. Comma, job description. Comma, frames. Definition, responsibility, assignment, and function to every creature. God is saying to Adam, think now. I would like you. I want you. I need you to come up with rules. Come up with names. Come up with job description. Come with responsibility. Come up with assignment. Function to so every living thing on earth. That was a man's, that was man's word. God is saying to Adam, think. Think now. I want you to come up with names. That is your job. That is your work. Come up with names. Come up with rules. Job description. Responsibilities. Functions. Assignment. To everything on earth. That was man's work. Man's work was not to toil. Or not to sow and reap. I'll tell you where this thing happened in Genesis 3. I'm coming to that. When this thing happened, the fall of man. When the man started to sow. Plant and harvest. That wasn't the plan of man. It wasn't. Then look at what God told him to do. You can read the old scriptures for yourself. So you can see. God told him, come up with names. God is saying to Adam, please, from now. Come up with names. I will tell you when I come to I will tell you your work on earth right now. How you should come out of your poverty that you don't like. So I can a man wake up in the morning. And uh, you are not dressing up in the house. Now walk on the street, do corporate begging. Because you don't know who you are. You read yourself a piece of bread. When you are a prince of the kingdom, you are a prince of the kingdom. You are, you are drinking a palm more and walk on the moon. Unless, I don't know what reduced you. Lack of information has reduced you. Lack of knowledge has reduced you. To be thinking that you are broke, you are poor, and to the point of even believing it. And to the point of even saying it with your mouth. How on earth will you ever say, I'm poor, I'm broke? What happened to you? You didn't know. You didn't know. You think God is emotional, God? Hey, God, hey, hey, hey. God doesn't behave like that. I'll prove to you. Don't worry. I'm coming to that. <laughs> God doesn't do that thing you're telling God to do. That thing you're asking God to do, he doesn't do that. <laughs> no, God doesn't do that thing. Money responds to value. Tell them money responds to value. Money doesn't respond to cry. Money doesn't respond to cry. Money doesn't, cry. Money doesn't go to bed. I need money. I need money. I need money. Money, money doesn't come to you. You're joking. Just got to get value. And you're really a valuable individual. You're a creative, you're a creative being. You are a creative a thinking being. You are part of the thinking class. You are the highest class in society. Why are you acting small? Lack of knowledge. Lack of information. You think you are poor. You think you are broke. Stop thinking like that. I love you so much. So, God is saying that I want to come up with names, job description, definition, response, assignment, and function. Write this one now. The name. A name. A name is a, a, name is a frame. A name is a frame. A name is a frame. That is, a name is a frame. 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 A name is a frame. Name describes your nature. A name is a frame, and name describes your nature. That was what Adam did. Was that job Adam did a thoughtful work, and or what intuition? Okay, we'll get to that, Daddy. Don't worry. <laughs> he was just thinking and giving the names. Don't worry. Whatever he called him, that was what he was. Okay, we'll get to that very soon. They're not good yet. We'll come back to that one. A, a, a name is a, is a frame. A name describes your nature. A name describes nature. That is your nature. Somebody called you an, an animal. That means it's, it's that you're acting like an animal. We'll come to all those ones. So a name is a frame, right? Do I want to write? So like when I'm coming back, I'm making reference to this. We can really connect and resonate with it. A name is a frame, and names describes your nature. Names describe your nature. So that's why anything he calls them, that was it was. In the paradise of God, in the paradise of God's intent, common purpose, paradigm and plan. Man's work is a thinking role. In the paradise of God's intent. In the paradise of God's intent, purpose and plan. In the paradise of God's intent, purpose and plan. Man work is a thinking role. Man work is a thinking role. 
in, in God's mind, God's intent, purpose, and plan for man, man's work is a thinking world. There's a people that think get more to get more paid than people that work in their hands. People that think in their mind, they do more of the mind work, they get more paid than people that do more of the physical work. Your work is not supposed to be, you're not supposed to work in your business, but on your business. You know, I was talking to my brother this morning. We we're driving from house to this office. So I was talking to him. I said, Do you know the job of a, a laundry man? That the laundry man work is not to wash clothes. A wash clothes is a laborer because the laundry man works. Wow, well, our laundry man, our, our laundry makes money. It's more clothes you wash, more money you make. More clothes you wash, more money you make. Or you have, maybe you are delivering clothes. Uh, and in the next five minutes or ten minutes or one hour, the time is three. That because a lot what is the what is the mean work of laundry? Washing and ironing. So why somebody is paying you money to wash it? Just to wash an iron. It's not paying you money for your gym, your call of your building, or anything. Just wash an iron. That's what it's paying you money for. So the faster you deliver the work, the better for the man. So you are supposed to go and be looking for customers to bring more clothes so you can wash more clothes. Now you are the one washing the clothes. Now you are, now you are being bottlenecked with what's supposed to give you leverage. Now the work owns you. And you think I'm a business entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship, you're supposed to be in your business, you're supposed to be your business. So two options bring more machines. Get more laborers and do the mind work. Think and go get customers for them to do the work. I, the lowest one you can do is to supervise. Supervise so. Once your hand is in the business, you cannot be a billionaire. No billionaire, his hand is in the business. All of us are working on our business. On means thinking and communication. Supervising. Let laborers do laboring work. As an entrepreneur, you're supposed to be in your business, you're supposed to work on your business. So, in a, inability to work, to move, to live that particular phase of life is what we are talking about. We want to grow your capacity. So you, you, because you have this source already embedded in you, the root. So what, we need to grow it. So let's write this one down. The last statement I made, I said that um, in the paradise of God's intent, purpose, and plan, a man's work is a thinking role. Man, thinking role, thinking role, thinking class, thinking role. Man is supposed to work with his mind as his office. <coughs> man is supposed to work with his mind as his office, comma, Two sets, comma, skill sets. Man is supposed to work with his mind. Man is supposed to work with his mind as, a, as an office, comma, two sets, comma, skill set. That is why man is supposed to work with his mind as an office. Your office is supposed to be your mind, comma, two sets, comma, skill set. Two sets, skill set. Full stop. That means, I told you, go and get the thinking chair. Go and bring any chair of your house. Find any corner in your room. Keep it there. Tell everybody, while I sit on this chair, nobody should disturb me. What you need on the chair is just a note and a pen. Please, not paper. Go and get 20 leaf, 40 leaf, hardcover, journal. Go and get a journal. This is a journal. Get a journal. What you need is a journal because you are, you are about to transfer the invisible wall to the visible. Everything that comes in your mind as an idea, Write it down. Once you've written it down, you have trapped that thought on the face of the earth. The only thing that will make that thought not to be a reality is action. That is the only thing. What I mean, only nothing will stop. If you know who you are, that you're not supposed to fail in life, then you can now understand why you should not be joking with every idea in your mind. So as a man is supposed to work with his mind as an office, come on. As you sit down, not just decide you carry your pen and paper. Begin to imagine your life. Write it down. Begin to design your life because if you don't design your life, you eventually fall into someone else's design. This is the truth. If you don't learn to work for yourself, then you work for a boss. If you don't want to work with the boss, you have no choice. You say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm working on myself. No, government is controlling you. Government wants to control the sick, the broke, and the poor, and the needy. The, once you are rich, informed, well informed, established, government doesn't control you. Like you can see, government even consults on what they on policy. Don't go say, what is that about say, man? You say, I want to be the only ISL say, right now. All people should calm down. Block the border for me for two days, you know? They negotiate with the government because he is part of the wealthy class. So you want to be part of that class that influence the economy. The president will sought after to seek advice from you. Then you must be intentional and deliberate about your financial life, about your personal growth, about yourself. So man is supposed to work with his mind as, a, as an office, command two sets and skill set. So after Genesis 3, cause, uh, after the fall of man in Genesis 3, man was cause. Adam fell from thinking class to working with hand class. Adam fell from working after the course in Genesis 3. Adam fell from the thinking class, working with his head, to the working class, working with his hand. After the fall, 
of man in Genesis 3, when the cause came, Adam fell from the thinking class, walking with his head, into the working class, walking with his hand. So that's where the fall happened. And then you can read the scriptures, they say, you shall, you shall eat the toil of the ground. That's what happened. That wasn't the first instructions from Genesis 2, verse 19. That instruction came when the man fell, when cause came. After the fall, he was said to them, you shall eat from the sweat of your face. Shall you eat the bread all the days of your life? That was the evidence. Cause is evidence from the fall of man. From the thinking creature with walking with his mind to a creature walking with his hand. That was the happen. So that is why we now that are working with our hands. You have to come to the truth. You have to deliberately intentionally walk yourself to that thinking glass. Because you have been redeemed. I said, I'm going to the redeemed nature. Let me take my time. Uh, this one I'm talking like this. Shut. I need to stop here right now. I cannot even continue. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. If I, if, I, if I jump into where I want to go now, the redeemed man will not live here right now. We, that, 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 this one I'm going to say will lead us to the redeemed man. Let's start from tomorrow. They, they, from, if, before the fall, the blessed context that is working with all, before if, after the fall, working with sweat. Of course, we'll come to the consumption enables production before the fall. Now, after the fall, consumption produces lack of scarcity. And then what will lead us to the, the redeemed man? Then the original man the original authentic man, the fallen man, the redeemed man. That will lead us to reflect God's thought that we must think and share our thoughts. So where we are supposed to function, the thinking class. Then the thinking class. Then I will lead you to one idea away from your breakthrough in life. So that idea will come from you. That idea is embedded in you. And you need, we need to show you how to, how to discover it, develop it, and deploy it. Because ignorance is the biggest problem in this world. Men, the biggest, the wildest place on earth is a, is a cemetery. Men, books never written, songs never sang, opportunities never brought, ideas never, never implemented because of what? Fear, doubt, and that's what the environment is created for. That's why like you, you cannot afford to be in an environment that is not promoting wealth, structure, system, money, things that will improve your life. The environment that everybody is complaining, oh, Tinibu is a problem, oh, the economy is bad. What explains by the environment? We'll come and talk about all those things. So, I want you to know you are part of the thinking class. Tell your neighbor, I'm part of the thinking class. <laughs> if I write it on your note like this, so we can ask like this. I am in the thinking class. Write it like that. I belong to the thinking class because I am made in the image and likeness of God. That will be the last thing. I am in the thinking class and I belong to the thinking class because I am made in the image and likeness of God. Write it. Please, if you've not written anything today, write this one. The online community, watching me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social media, and write today. I am part of, I am, I am in the thinking class. And I belong to the thinking class. Personalized. I am, I am in the thinking class. And don't say, I will be. No. And don't, don't say, I will be. I was be. No, I, I, I was. In the, no, say, I am in the present tense. I am in the thinking class. And I belong to the thinking class because I am made in the image and likeness of God. I am in the thinking class and I belong to the thinking class because I am made in the image and likeness of God. Full stop. To reflect God, we must think and share our thoughts. That's the last, that's the last thing for today, for now. To reflect God, to reflect God, that reflects, underline reflects. To reflect God, comma, we must think, understand, think, and share our thoughts, understand thoughts. Three things we must underline as to round up today's class. To reflect God in your family, in your marriage, in your business, in anything you do. To reflect God, understand the word reflect. We must think, understand the word, underline the word think. And share our thought, underline the word thought. So I live in this place today, walk with the consciousness that if I must reflect God, I must think and I must share my thoughts. So if I must reflect God, I must think, I must reflect my thoughts. If I must reflect God, I must think, I must reflect. That's why it's always good. Before you act, you think. So... To reflect God, we must think and share our thoughts. God also thought and she said, let us create man in our image. He saw an image in image and he thought. Why did he say, let us? Let us. He communicated his thoughts. Let us create man in our image and likeness. He saw an image. And then he came to the end and formed man. So to reflect God, we must think, understand the word think. To reflect, understand the word reflect. To reflect God, comma, we must think and share our thoughts, understand the word thoughts. So inability to share, think and share your thoughts. 
limits you. Dangote she think and she is taught refinery. Today, Dangote own a refinery. Elon Musk think and she is taught. He asked people that bought into his thoughts. He put to beside Tesla. All of them. Max Zuckerberg is always a face with five of his friends. As in three showed up me too. Those guys are billionaires today. He think and she is taught. All your pastors, they have elders around them. All the CEOs have elders around them. All football team, they are not play alone. They will think and share their thoughts. So to reflect God as a creative being, as a creator, you must think and, ref and share your thoughts. See you tomorrow. You think you've learned something? You've not learned anything. I can assure you, tomorrow is an icing on the cake. Tomorrow, take it to the next level because I want to operate at the highest class society. One idea away from your breakthrough. One idea away from your breakthrough. One idea away from your breakthrough. So online community, we appreciate you for always keeping to time, 8 to 9. And I want to advise you, please, it's just an advice, professional advice. It's not a must you take it. It's just not a must. You just think about it. Don't ever get involved in a business without a mentor. You know why? Mentorship is a legal shortcut to success. You know why? He that stands on the shoulder of mentors will see far. See at the top. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Very good. For the rest of us here, please take your notes. What have we learned today? You must have learned so, much, so many things today from the training. You might be one, you might be two, you might be three, you might be all. I would like to share, I would like to share with me. I want to be sure I'm not talking to Chase. So I would like to take three from here and three from here. Then we'll call it a day. What's your take home today? Okay? Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Okay, three. Man is God's spiritual pie. Yes, I will answer this one tomorrow. Okay. Man is what? Spiritual pie. You do not hear. Most of you are absent, man. I think it's before and got it. Wake up. Tell me, wake up. 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 W